Hi petals, welcome back to the channel and welcome to your timeless soul alignment session. If you're new here, I'm Aura and on this channel we bring through messages of guidance, support, empowerment and activations for your soul path and your life journey. It's wonderful to be connecting with you today. I hope that you're doing amazing. I hope that you're having a lovely day so far. So thank you so much for being here. It's amazing to be connecting with you. And as always, I'm excited to be bringing through the message and the download from Source, the Divine, the Universe today that is wanting to come through. And the message that I received is that there is an emergence of a new timeline. There is an emergence of a new timeline. So this timeline that is emerging here is a timeline where you are making bold moves fearlessly in co-creation and collaboration with spirit. So this timeline that is emerging here, you're choosing to face some kind of fear. You're choosing to not only acknowledge some kind of mission or task that has been given to you here or a passion or something that has sparked something within you. You're choosing to follow it, but you're following it fearlessly. So you could be kind of scared of whatever this is, putting yourself out there potentially, maybe stepping out of your comfort zone or doing something a bit different, right? And I'm also hearing the message that you are about to shine. You are about to shine. And truthfully, you are already shining so brightly, but this is about to become even brighter and even more expanded. I'm being shown like a shooting star that kind of like explodes in the night sky. This is the energy here. It's like you're shooting up and elevating in some way and this light is just exploding from within you here and this is an analogy here and um, a metaphor for the reach that you are going to obtain there's something that is going to be expanded from within you here you're going to be reaching farther and wider that you have reached before or experienced before or you're going to be put out there in some way i'm hearing being put out there okay so there's an element of being seen here as well so maybe that is a fear that you're facing here some kind of fear of being seen but you've been given this mission whatever this is this igniting within this spark this enthusiasm this passion this idea you've been given it for a reason okay so this emergence of a new timeline is going to help you to face this um, and move fearlessly and boldly in co-creation and collaboration with spirit here. And a few days ago I was meditating and a badger actually came to me in this meditation and I was asking the badger, why are you here? What, what are you trying to show me? And I was told that I would know and I would, you know, basically find out what this meaning was, what the resonance was in this connection with the badger when the time was right and as I was connecting and pulling through this download here for this soul alignment session the badger actually came through again and so this is how it's all making sense the badger was for this reading okay so the badger could be significant for you in some way maybe this is a synchronicity for you maybe you've been seeing badges around or maybe badges might be popping up for you after this session but the spiritual symbolism of the badger talks about persistence it talks about determination and endurance they never give up the badger never gives up they persevere with their task their goal at hand and their goal in mind and they strive to do whatever it takes to get them to where they want to be right including facing any fears and making those bold moves and so I feel like the badger is stepping forward to help us to embody that energy on a deeper level right so this could be something that's coming up for you in the near future or maybe this is something that you're already feeling within right facing some kind of fear here 
I'm also being shown the starfish as well. The starfish is coming through here very strongly. And the starfish talks about the ability to renew yourself. So there is also a renewal that is taking place here within spiritually, emotionally, physically, even potentially, right? There's a renewal here. And this starfish is bringing that reminder that you have the secret and power to healing. It's within you, okay? So this secret and power to healing is within you. You hold the key here, okay? So it's it's remembering that, right? It's not giving that responsibility to anything outside of yourself. You have the power to heal. You have the power to renew yourself. And I feel on this new timeline that is opening up, that's exactly what you're going to be doing here, right? So maybe there's new modalities showing up for you or your intuition is telling you to try this or try that or explore something here that is gonna help you when it comes to some sort of renewal, some sort of healing, right? There's a secret that is being handed to you here in this emergence of a new timeline. And the starfish also talks about heightened senses, heightened senses and trusting your instincts. So I feel like your senses are going to be heightened as well. Maybe they've even started to become quite heightened recently. You've already been feeling that heightened level of sensitivity to your maybe intuition, your psychic abilities, your awareness, maybe a heightened sensitivity to your surroundings, what you're able to tolerate in your vicinity from other people and experiences, maybe something that you once were okay with, you're not okay with anymore. It doesn't make you feel aligned. It doesn't make you feel comfortable, right? Pay attention to that because your senses, your body is trying to show you something. Your soul is trying to show you something here. So allow yourself to tune in, to go within, connect with the badger, connect with the starfish, right? and see what they have to show you here. They're going to show you when the time is right and in the way that is going to be right for you as well. Perfect for you, I'm hearing, because it's going to be on an individual level for each and every one of us because we're all unique here. We're all these beautiful stars in the sky and we all hold this beautiful, unique essence within us, right? And so your healing modality is going to be different. It's going to be unique. It's going to be bespoke for you and so you're going on this timeline to discover what this is for you on a deeper level okay so incredibly powerful messages already coming through here today let's see if the divine the universe spirit source wants to elaborate on these messages and see what wants to come through today okay so remember, my loves, that my readings are for confirmations for what you already know. So if you're wondering if this reading, all these messages are for you, tune in. You're going to know within you if these messages and this reading is for you. So I always encourage your own discernment and utilizing and expanding your own intuition, right? So please take what resonates only for you, your personal situation, and lovingly leave the rest. Okay, so what wants to come through today? What wants to come through today? What wants to come through today? Let's see. Thank you. I feel like you're moving out of um, a timeline here that could have been quite chaotic for you. I feel like there's a timeline here that you're aligning with. You've called in more peace, right? There's a more peaceful energy that's coming through here. And so you're, I'm hearing you're eradicating through the conflicts. You're eradicating through anything that is just not conducive for your spirit anymore, okay? Something has become uncomfortable. And it, that's that star explosion. Um, and this is why you're reaching farther and wider because you're ready to expand. It's almost like this box, this kind of cage that you are in, so to speak, metaphorically speaking, has become too small. You're outgrowing something here. Wow. You're outgrowing. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. 
bottom of the deck, we have a new life. Exactly. Look at this person here stretching out. You're stretching up because you've outgrown something here. Oh my gosh. I love how this is being confirmed here. This new timeline is awakening and bringing through an emergence of a new life here. Incredible. Okay, so this is the emergence here of a new timeline, which is going to give you that new life energy. It's almost going to feel like a paradigm shift, like a huge like um, change and shift is occurring here. I absolutely love this. Okay, you've outgrown something, as we said, the number 39 could be significant here. The number 12 or the number 3 could be significant as well, okay? You're shifting, you're changing. And I just have to, to show you this here. We have all these stars coming through here as well. So that's that star energy. And it's almost like there's almost like an expansion here from around you as well. And that's what I was being shown, okay? You're also coming into contact with more soul family people who truly resonate with you in this new timeline as well. So that's incredibly powerful. Penguins could also be significant or a synchronicity for you here as well. So let's see what wants to come through. We have TikTok. We have here and now. Okay. Interesting. So I feel essentially the message that I'm getting here is that your soul, your higher self has called time on something here. It's called time. It's like it's time to kind of, it's time to change something here. It's time to shift something. That's a major energy that's coming through. I can't help but be drawn to the numbers here. We've got 30 and then we've got the number 32. And we're moving on, right? We're moving onwards and upwards is an energy that's coming through here. You are moving onwards and upwards, okay? But there's something that you had to almost kind of like sort through or work through or be present in, in the moment, okay? So I feel like you've been working through something in the present, okay? You've overcome something major here, and you've got a vision, an idea of the future, of where you want to go, who you want to be, where you want to be. You've just got an idea, right? And you've taken the time to sit in the present moment and to essentially reflect on it, okay? To visualize. Maybe you have been focusing on manifesting or visualization. I just feel like there's something that you've been taking the time to focus on. Some of you may have been taking the time to learn or study or integrate or taking the time to heal something, taking the time to release something, taking the time to nurture something, right? It's going to be different for each and every one of you, but you've been doing the work essentially is the message that is coming through here. You've been sitting in the present moment and you've been holding patience, right? You've been having that energy of the badger, right? That persistence and determination. And that can sometimes be just sitting in the present moment, right? Connecting with our inner selves, connecting with our higher self, waiting for the information that we need in order to be able to move forward with something here. However, this determination, endurance and persistence has worked out for you or has come through for you, you've been doing this work, right? Because sometimes we see persistence and determination and endurance as uh, an action point, something that we have to take action upon. In order to be persistent, we have to be consistently taking action. That's not what we're getting here. That's not what I'm pulling through. I'm actually pulling through a message that sometimes we can be determined and persistent by just sitting still and just waiting for the messages to come through, waiting for that green light to move forward with something. We don't have to be consistently taking action action in order to be dedicated, in order to be persistent, right? So if you've been feeling some kind of pressure to continuously take action, even if it's against your own energy, 
check in with yourself and really reflect on whether that's something that you need to do or whether you're just feeling like it's what you should do, okay? Because sometimes we feel that pressure, like time is ticking, I've only got so much time, I need to do this, I need to do that, I should be doing this, I should be doing that, right? And I need to be determined, right? And we can absolutely be determined by, as I said, just sitting in the present moment and reflecting by taking stock of where we've come from, sifting through things that we've collated energetically or however, right? And sifting it through and releasing what is not serving us anymore, okay? Because we're needing to lighten the load here. That's a message that's coming through because we're about to embark on a journey here. I'm really feeling this. And so in order for us to move forward into this new life, into this emergence of a new timeline, we're needing to release and let go what is not conducive for us in this new life that we have built, in this new life that we're building here. And I'm really being drawn to this TikTok card here, right? It looks like a, some kind of like hot air balloon, yeah? And it's like, it's kind of a weight here that it's kind of pulling. This clock face is a weight, okay? And so this hot air balloon is not going to be able to take off if it's got too much weight underneath it, okay? So hot air balloons could be symbolic here because I'm being shown a bunch of them in my mind's eye now, just floating through the sky, multicolored hot air balloons here. It's actually a really beautiful vision that's coming through. I absolutely love that, okay? So essentially you've done the work, okay, you've been patient and you've only been taking action when you've really been guided to take action, okay. So if this is a process that you're still working through, make sure that you are really checking in with yourself and making sure that it's conducive for you and your energy, okay. It's okay for some days for you to take, you know, um, a seat, to sit down, to relax, to renew your energy because otherwise you're going to burn out. You're going to know exactly when it's the right time to take action, okay. And I feel like there's been various things that have been catching your attention as well. There's been things from the past that may have been rearing their head, that may have been popping up. I'm being shown like whack-a-mole, like that game where the moles keep popping up, right? And you kind of whack them with a hammer. It's quite gruesome actually, but it is a game, right? And so it's like things keep popping up and it's like you kind of like dealing with them as they pop up. And so that has been a necessary part of you being in that present moment and as we said the future has also been beckoning you the future is beckoning you to visualize to plan to structure things right to have an idea of where it is that you want to go have an idea of what it is that you might need to work through or kind of sift through in order to get there how can I lighten my load how can I overcome this fear what do I need to do right in order to take this action when the time is right okay so let's see what else is wanting to come through here we have peace yes I think I mentioned that energy before right and we have co-create yes I love these confirmations here as I said, this new timeline, you're walking away and moving on from any chaos and conflict. This could have been something from the past, okay? Or maybe this is even in your present moment right now, but this is shifting out of the way and you're moving into some kind of peaceful resolution here, an emergence of a new timeline that's bringing you more peace. It's bringing you a more steady foundation. And I just love, my gosh, I love how all three of these cards have an egg they have an egg in these cards there's something that you're hatching there's something that you're birthing through metaphorically speaking right you're co-creating with the divine and that's what we said this emergence of a new timeline this new life energy is a timeline where you are making bold moves fearlessly in co-creation and collaboration with spirits okay that was the download and this is the confirmation because this is the energy that you're heading into this is your future energy okay so in this present moment right now keep focusing on this keep focusing on that peace keep visualizing that peaceful timeline 
And I'm also being guided to say, not only for yourself, but also for the world as well. The more of us that can envision this peace and as light workers sit in this present moment with this potential difficult energy, right? Because the world is a is a scary place right now. There's a lot going on, right? And so if we can keep visualizing this piece and energetically send that out, we're gonna have some sort of impact, okay? Some of you may be working strongly with Mother Gaia because I'm feeling Gaia sweeping through here um, very strongly, okay? I'm also being drawn to all the clouds here on these cards as well. It's almost like you're shifting through some kind of veil here. This timeline shift, right, this timeline emergence, there's going to be a period where something might feel veiled, but it's like I'm hearing it's the fog in between, it's the land in between. So moving from one timeline to this emergence of this new life timeline, this peaceful timeline, this co-creation with spirit, there's gonna be a brief moment where it might feel murky or hazy, or you can't quite see where you're going. And this is why being in this present moment, centering your energy, grounding yourself, having a good vision and an idea of where you're going, is going to be very conducive for you. It's going to be incredibly supportive for you here. The leopard may be significant here for you, the dove of peace, the jaguar, the owl is also coming through here as well. But there's something that you are bringing through, there's something that you are nurturing at this time. And look what we have here, right in the middle of this egg, there is a star, okay? That is you, okay? It's almost like you're getting ready to birth, like a version of yourself is getting ready to hatch out of this egg here. It's like you are what is inside this egg, this new life, this kind of more bolder and more fearless version of yourself, right? And that's not to say that you're not good enough right now, of course you are, but we're always evolving, we're always growing, right? There's always something that we're wanting to expand, you know, and to expand into and explore. And this is this egg for you. This is you that is hatching. This is beautiful, I absolutely love this, okay. So let's see if we can pull through some supporting energies for you here. Please pull through some supporting energies for these messages. What else wants to come through in this session today? What else wants to come through? Just wanna move those there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have Gaia, yes, yes, nurturing, wow, what more can I say? The cars are literally confirming everything that we're downloading and bringing through today, channeling through, I love this. Strong connection to Mother Earth, strong connection to Gaia, you're nurturing something and Gaia is helping you with this. I do feel a strong light worker activation, light worker mission coming through here very strongly for you. Wow, this is powerful, I'm almost speechless with this. We have lotus flower and unfoldment, oh my gosh. We have ceremony and invocation, yeah. Oh my gosh, you've called something back here. This is what you've done, you've called back your power, okay? From past and future timelines, you're pulling it back into the present. And this is empowering you and giving you an access to a new doorway that is opening up for you here. This is incredible. You have been through this deep process here, like the lotus flower, of growing through a marshy mud underneath the water, the bottom of the water, the bed of the water, coming right up to the surface where you can flower, you can blossom, you can bloom. You've been unfolding here and you've had the patience whilst you've allowed yourself to become who you are now okay? And you're still being guided to hold that patience and nurture yourself whilst you're becoming the person who you are meant to be, okay? So you're moving through this unfoldment process where you're going to be seen, okay? And you're going to feel more confident in being seen as well. I'm be really being drawn here to how there's almost like a veil being pulled down and the sun is peeking over the top there. 
So I feel like there could have been some veil of illusion here that was around you or some kind of even a mask that maybe you've been wearing or like a comfort blanket, something like that. And it's like you're peeling this off now, you're peeling it away. And what is emerging from underneath that is a beautiful eminence, a beautiful bright light, okay? Your light is shining even brighter going back to that original visualization of that shooting star, okay? You've called something forward here. You've also got a connection when it comes to healing as well. There's a connection that's coming through with healing, right? I am just going to cover this card up because I've just noticed a little bit of revealing stuff there. So YouTube can be a little bit funny with that. So you've you've called something forward and I feel like you've done a major, a major essence of shedding something here because I'm being drawn to the snake at the bottom left of this card. Some of you might work with crystals, crystal grids I'm hearing, but there's something about you being a part of the, the grid on this earth, on Mother Gaia. You've been called forward for some kind of mission at this time and this is why this emergence of a new timeline is coming through for you here okay you've called through some level of power a heightened level of power heightened level of support some of you may have been calling through animals the animal kingdom the elementals the elements gaia herself nature right i am seeing rainbows coming through here as well butterflies i'm being shown peacocks i'm being shown hummingbirds turtle tiger i'm even seeing um a skunk here okay coming through anything else i'm seeing a little chick a little chick that's so cute yeah that is that metaphor of that hatching as well i feel like the divine is saying you used to be that little chick and look who you are now look how much you've grown wow that's a really beautiful message i love that that's so gorgeous but it's like have that wondrous optimism and kind of viewpoint of that little chick as well has just been hatched and they're like so kind of happy and optimistic about this new world that has just opened up before them and I feel like you're going to be like this new chick again essentially um, metaphorically speaking with this awe and wonder and you know this imagination of the infinite possibilities that lay before you here beautiful energies anything else wants to come through here we have the beetle coming through here and purity. Yeah, sitting right underneath the piece there, okay? You've really been purifying a lot. Anything else? We have the frog and we have healing, yes. This is, again, more confirmation for what we were talking about here. This healing energy is within you, coming from that starfish energy here, the ability to renew yourself, a reminder that the secrets and power to healing is within you, okay? And it's all a part of the journey, stepping stone by stepping stone, lily pad by lily pad. You're leaping from lily pad to lily pad in co-creation with the divine to find some sort of healing formula here. You've been doing a lot of work and you may feel like time is running out, but there's a message here that it isn't. It isn't running out. Do what you need to do is a message that's coming through. If you're needing extra time to clear through something, to purify something here, allow it to happen, allow it to come through become peace okay we're not in this timeline of rushing and hustling and pushing chaos and conflict we're shifting to a new life a new timeline where we're doing things differently we're coming from a place of peace we're purifying we're healing and we're co-creating with the divine with spirit the universe to bring a heightened level of balance security empowerment and further activations of light work emissions here we do have the horse and motivation on the bottom of the deck. So the horse could also be an animal that would be helpful for you to connect with because they're helping you with motivation. Maybe you found along your journey that you've struggled with motivation, right? You've had to sometimes really dig deep, especially through all of the work that you've been doing. It can be difficult to kind of get out of bed some days and kind of get on with it because some of this work can be really heavy. Okay, so during those days, 
call forward the divine, call on the universe, call on Gaia, okay, if Gaia resonates with you and ask for that help, ask the animals in, call in your higher self, the angels, whatever resonates most for you, okay, because they're going to help you with motivation and empowerment, okay. They're saying to look underneath, we have vol volatility and strength and mountain volcano, yeah, this volcano energy is what you're shifting away from. So maybe there's some volatility right now or you're transitioning through some volatility. There's something that needs to come from under the surface here, okay? There's something that's coming up to be seen, but you absolutely have the strength to overcome this, okay? Remember who you are is a message that I'm hearing. Remember who you are. You would not have been given this mission if you weren't ready to face it, if you weren't capable of overcoming it right and sitting with it and shifting it okay so there's something that you are shifting here anything else want to come through today any further guidance and assistance and support here that wants to come through astrophilites and jinko coming through here star elders signs and symbols divine blueprints and a mentee yeah this is some kind of initiation there's so many initiations that have been coming through here right um on the bottom of the deck we've got turquoise and forget me not balance cracking open deep healing balancing karma yeah this is a balance that's coming through here for you spirit is they're asking me to put this on the table spirit is helping you to regain some sort of balance or to bring something back into balance here i feel like there's a lot of karmic healing that you've been working through and that's really not easy to do so congratulations for for sorting through that and sifting through that here transmuting that clearing through that and purging okay because that's not easy to do okay but you're absolutely unfolding here very beautifully right you've got star elders that are working with you as well and they're sending you lots of signs and symbols and synchronicities if you're needing further confirmations ask for signs okay and they're going to give them to you to confirm things for you right and don't forget to go within and sit in that present moment and be at peace for the answers to flow through for you here your divine blueprints, your divine soul blueprints are activating here and you're being assisted with this, okay? So this egg here is cracking open and as we said, you're coming out from within this here. So you've been going through possibly like an incubation period, okay? And sometimes this birthing process can be challenging and uncomfortable, but you're absolutely going to get to the top of the surface here and you're going to be blooming just like this lotus flower, right? I'm hearing it's written in the stars. It's written in the stars. And you were here to bring some kind of balance to some kind of disorder, some kind of balance and peace to some kind of chaos here. You are a soul that is here to bring balance and peace back to the world here. This is amazing. Bottom of the deck, we have diamond heart seed crystal, golden age wisdom, DNA activations, Lemuria, priestess awakening. Wow, incredibly powerful. Look at these beautiful golden dolphins. And it's almost like on this card, it's like a portal, a rainbow portal coming through here. That is beautiful. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but it's like this dolphin is swimming through what looks to be like a doorway, a rainbow doorway portal. This is so beautiful. I'm loving this energy. Palm trees and coconuts could be significant here. There is a DNA activation and this is why this healing has been coming through so profoundly and deeply because you've been shifting through karmically what is keeping your energy out of balance and making way for these new golden age DNA activations here. There is a connection here to Lemuria as well. Lemurian starseed, you may resonate with that, but there's a priest, priestess awakening coming through here. Psychic and spiritual intuitive activations coming through. You've been traversing for some time, I'm hearing. Okay, any further guidance, please, that wants to come through for those who are still tuning into this session? Any further guidance about this new timeline? or anything else about this divine blueprint. 
we have the wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. Yeah, this is that energy in between, that cracking open, that birthing process, right? There's something that I'm hearing left a bitter taste. Something is left a bitter taste, right? And there's a there's guidance here that's coming through. It's like, this is just temporary, okay? This is just a part of the process. It's a temporary imbalance or discomfort, okay? It's a temporary discomfort and you're gonna be moving on from whatever this is here as well. Whatever is a bitter taste as well it is going to be a sign for you. It's going to be telling you something, whether it's that whatever this is isn't for me or do I need to change something here? Do I need to shift? Maybe it's the way that I've been processing this or the way that I've been responding to this here. Um, I'm also hearing expectations. It's like, be careful who and what you put expectations onto because they may not live up to it. They could let you down. So this could be having a high expectation for someone else, right? Or something and it not working out because it wasn't for your highest good. It wasn't for this highest good for this new timeline that you're traversing, this new timeline that you're shifting into but it could feel a little bit stingy in the moment but it is going to be replaced with something better here you are being guided to believe in yourself as well okay if there's a setback it's just temporary don't let it stop you like we said with that badger they never give up, right? They do what it takes to get them to their objective and their goal, obviously within the highest good of all, okay? We're not talking about being selfish or sabotaging anyone here because let's not forget we are the karma balancer here, okay? So we also need to adhere to those laws as well of karma as well. But it's like you're going to have this determination to overcome whatever this bitter taste is, right? Maybe this has already occurred for you or it's already in the process for you here, okay? Whatever this is, it's just temporary um, and you're going to be moving on and taking what you need from this situation in terms of a lesson, in terms of a confirmation that is going to be assisting for you, right? Anything else to close out this session? Anything else to close out this session? We have otter spirit, you are never alone, you are never alone. There's so much love that is around you at this time, right? Especially through the moments where life stings, because let's face it, on our human journey, we're, we're often facing challenges and ups and downs and obstacles and setbacks and unexpected twists and turns and oh I didn't see that coming oh I wasn't expecting that right and it can sting it can taste bitter but all the while we need to remember that we're not alone we have the universe we have our spirit team okay we have our guides we have the angels we have those in our physical reality who do love you okay you have them around you here right and if you feel like you don't have anyone around you, you absolutely do in the spirit world. So don't forget to call upon them here. You're very much being divinely supported at this time. And I'm now I'm really being drawn to the forget me not on this card. And it's like your guide is saying, forget me not. Don't forget about me. Don't forget about us. We're here with you. Someone might have forgotten that you've got so much support and love and you don't even realize it or you're not truly allowing your yourself to feel it right so allow yourself to feel the love that is around you here okay and you're very much being supported with uh, reaping some level of abundance and stability and security as long as you continue to co-create with the divine here okay continue to purify your energy there may be some situations that you're being guided to leave in the past now because as we said you can't take them forward with you but you're going to know what that is because you're going to receive those signs and synchronicities here this is the time where you become a, a wiser and more empowered leader i'm hearing as well continue to trust in the magic because there's a lot of magic energy that is around you at this time i'm seeing your crown lit up as well and you're being given a lot of um, ideas and messages through dreams 
and also daydreams as well, okay? And so you're being guided to co-create with spirit to weave this into the fabric of your reality. Weaving it into the fabric of your reality is what I'm hearing here, okay? You're weaving your divine soul blueprint into the fabric of your reality it's coming through, it's manifesting here, okay? And I've just split the deck to the scarab beetle. Magic works through you. There's so much magic that is available to you and opening to you in this time. I've just cut the deck again to trust in the magic, the white raven coming through powerful energies coming through here. I truly, truly love this. Don't forget to take from the past what you need to take in terms of lessons, integrations, okay, realizations, and wisdom as well, those joyful memories that you have. But let go of what is not serving you. Let go of what is pulling you back, right? Let go of what is tugging at you energetically that is not empowering for you, that feels heavy, that feels like it's weighing you down, okay? Because where you're going now is into this lighter timeline where the energy, the frequency is going to be more elevated. And so the denseness can't make it through. It can't make it through that foggy energy, that veil, of the in between these two timelines. So essentially, this new timeline here that is emerging is a timeline of higher frequency, of higher vibration. And this is why you've been guided to do all of this work here, rebalancing that karma, activating your divine soul blueprint, purifying the energy, setting those intentions here, healing learning from the difficulties and challenges here, taking what you can from this and leaving what is not serving you from it, moving on from it and allowing yourself to stretch out from a constraint that you have outgrown. You're moving into this new life, this more empowered life, this more empowered version of self. Wow, incredibly magical. I've truly, truly enjoyed bringing through these messages for you today. I truly hope that you found helpful guidance, confirmations, empowerments, and activation here for your soul path and life journey at this time and moving forward. So let's see what we should do. I feel like drop a egg emoji, drop a frog emoji, drop a star emoji or a shooting star if there's a shooting star emoji or even a dove of peace emoji in the comment section if this has been your reading, if you have resonated with this reading or if you would like to claim any of this beautiful co-creation with the divine, moving boldly and fearlessly in collaboration with spirit into a timeline emergence of peace and healing purity, knowing that you are activating your divine soul blueprint and balancing out anything that was out of balance for you here. And please feel welcome to drop in the comment section how this reading has resonated for you today and share with me anything you would like to share about your soul path and life journey thus far. I always love to read your comments and see what you have to say. Thank you so much for your positivity, for your love and support, not only with myself and the channel, but also with each other. It's so beautiful to see you interacting and helping and supporting each other. So thank you so much for your kindness, your compassion and your beautiful energy and presence. And if you would like to connect in a personally calibrated reading with myself, you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer, as well as my limited edition monthly special readings and book with me directly there. But please note that if my readings say sold out, that just means that I am currently temporarily at full capacity. So please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner at the header of my page and I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And if you enjoy my energy, if you enjoy my vibe, don't forget to hit subscribe and also tap that bell icon because that will let you know when I rock up and drop new messages and readings for you. And if you would like to tap into any more guidance, don't forget to check out my channel. There's loads of other readings on the channel and they are all timeless. I I have picker cards, collective readings and more soul alignment sessions for you. So please feel welcome to have a little browse and see what speaks to your intuition.
Thank you so much for all of your energy exchanges, your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your super thanks donations. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity and support. You are so truly valued and appreciated. And I'm wishing you all the best moving forward and look forward to connecting with you again in our next reading. Wishing you a wonderful rest of your day, sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye.